Okay, part two of what's in Bob's bag. I already showed you part of that. Um, to go along with my bear bags, just to let you know where we're uh, ending up, or my 450 canister. I have a small one carabiner. This is the smallest carabiner I could possibly find. It's a Metolus, Lyos, I don't know how to say any of these things. And uh, it's a locking carabiner. One of the videos I reviewed said that if you don't have a locking carabiner, when you hang your bag, sometime your line can get clicked in here. It makes it impossible to bring your bear bag down or your food bag. I used some uh, nice orange 550 cord, put it on the scale, and it came in at about four ounces, 50 feet of it. And I had this brilliant idea, well, I since it's my idea, of course it's brilliant. I decided that I would take the inner strands out of the paracord, lightened it down to 1.1 ounces just for the cord, thought that was a, a great weight savings. Remember I mentioned I had uh, back surgery, so therefore, uh, I have to be very careful of my weight. Big Agnes fish hook uh, tent. These are the poles uh, to that. Uh, so I have these all together inside the tent. I also have the inner part of the tent. Now the inner part of the fish hook it has a mesh uh, covering. So it's uh, considered to be buggish proof. Uh, I carry that uh, in the top here, easy to get to with my tent stakes. So when I'm setting up, it comes out the tent poles, tent stakes, and uh, the mesh uh, inset cover. Contemplating on this one. Not sure if I'm going to carry it or not. I thought I would add just a little bit of the uh, mountain hardware uh, vest. This is an 850 uh, down vest, I believe, and I think it's the Ghost Whisperer. Real nice. It's nice and warm. Uh, treats me well. And I thought, you know, what if my sleeping bag really isn't warm enough? I could throw this on my core and help keep myself completely warm. Wrap my feet inside. Do whatever. Still haven't come to 100% uh, on whether I'm taking that or not. But thought it was a good idea to have. Change of clothes. Not really a big uh, change of clothes guy. I have one pair of pants. These are from uh, shorts. These are piranhas. Uh, they are short, but they're not. They weren't short enough when I got them. So I actually took about three inches, maybe three and a half inches, off the bottoms of these. To, so they didn't look like culottes. I mean, most men's shorts, except for the running type, uh, go down to their knees. I don't like that. So I went ahead and had these altered. It was seven, ten dollars at the uh, uh, store up there in Galt. Some more smart wool underwear. Yes, I have some excellent taste in my underwear. Have another smart wool pair. Uh, I mean, shirt. Blue, I really like this color a lot. Um, it feels good. I've worn it. It's real nice. And I'm bringing two pairs of socks. But unlike that first pair of socks I showed you, these are ultra thins. I know that when you're walking, there's a tendency of your feet to swell. So I thought I would just get a thin pair of socks if my feet do uh, balloon up, that I can use these and still have my shoes feel real comfortable. For me and no I'm not wearing any liners then I have my koozie for my food when I um, do some, my, some of my cooking I'll be cooking with uh, Ziploc baggies and I'll be able to take my hot water pour it in my Ziploc baggie stuff it in here close it down with a nice piece of uh, elastic band and my food will stay in here and be warm uh, when I do go to eat it, so I won't have to use a lot of fuel to keep my food hot. Well, we'll talk about this in a moment. And this is the rain fly to my Big Agnes tent. 
I hope not to have to use it too much. I put it at the very bottom of my bag, knowing that if I have to get to it, I can. But if not, I might just be using the mosquito net portion or cowboy camp. Ah, yep. Well, I do have a little bit of aluminum foil. I don't know why I'm carrying it because I always carry aluminum foil in, in a, a bag of any kind I have. As a backup with my water, and we'll get to the water filter later, I am carrying uh, just uh, 20 Ketadine water purification tablets as an emergency backup. That'd be 20 liters of water. So I'm not anticipating having to use it, but I want to make sure that if I need to purify water, I can and I will. On the uh, outside of my bag here, ah, I did something, uh, I worked uh, for an agency that handed out uh, chits. And a chit was to identify who was taking a piece of equipment. You gave them your chit, they gave you the pair of equipment, come back. I just thought I'd throw this on my bag just because uh, of how it is. Rain gear, put that out on the top. First thing I have is my uh, marmot. A rain jacket. It's a little bit larger uh, than what I would normally wear. It's an extra large, but I put that on there simply because uh, I went the extra so I could wear something underneath it on a cold, wet day. And one of the things that I always like to have with me is a small light on uh, my clothing or inside my tent. I also have another light. This is the REI Magma. It is uh, folded up and stuffed in its own little uh, pocket. It's a real nice uh, down jacket. It's 850. It's treated. Uh, I'm anticipating this to be my uh, best purchase as far as clothing. Takes a second. Got a full hood on it. It fluffs out real nice. I think it's me. I have a little bitty plastic knife. Weighs nothing. Brought it so that I could uh, spread peanut butter on my bagels or on anything else I have. And I have uh, the Optimus spoon. I had the real long spoon because I noticed that uh, with shorter spoons and you dip inside to get uh, food out of your uh, Ziploc baggie, uh, it's a little difficult to do. I'm not a spork guy. Give me a spoon. Give me a fork. None of this hybrid stuff. Another few items. I have some really nice Gore-Tex gloves. I know I'm carrying two pairs of gloves, but I feel like uh, these are waterproof, they still breathe, and uh, if it's cold, cold, your hands will be cold, cold. This is my cover for the uh, Voider sleeping bag inside here. Right now, I have a small notepad and a pen. I have a Quivet cap. The Quidit is a material made from musk oxen wool. It's incredibly soft, but it is the warmest natural fiber known to man. And 90% uh, of your heat loss uh, is through your head because most of the time nobody has a hat on and doesn't cover the head well. Therefore, having this will help keep warm, especially at sleeping at night if needed. And I have a buff. I'm not a big fan of buff. My wife loves the word buff because she would watch a survivor and that's all they talk about are buffs. Right now I have this little 16,000 uh, watt uh, solar charging battery bank. It's a nice setup, but you know what? I'm probably going to switch over to the uh, Anchor 2600, uh, no 26,800 milliamp uh, battery pack. It weighs about five ounces more than this one does, 
but this has a nice solar panel and we'll talk about the solar panel here in just a second. Next, solar panel, Brunton. About a five watt solar panel, hooks onto the back of your bag as you're walking northbound, the sun rises in the southeast, sets in the southwest, hopefully hitting my solar panel and charging some of my items as I walk. If I choose to the, uh, go with the uh, Anchor 26,800 uh, item, I will not be carrying that. I have some uh, sunglasses. These sunglasses that I will be wearing are not the ones uh, that I wear walking around here in Galt. Uh, these are the native uh, sunglasses. They're real nice. I have a neck strap to keep them on uh, my neck if I need to while I'm walking or put them up. Just depends on what happens. Of course, I have a power cord. I chose pink so I could find it, but I might go to a red one that I saw someplace else. This is something I'm not sure if I'm going to keep or not, but I really do enjoy it. It's a Bluetooth speaker. It's one of the smallest Bluetooth speakers on the market and has terrific sound. And one of the things that I know uh, on the trail is boredom will get a lot of people. I have my uh, wall plug charger, two ports, so that's real nice. And also what I have is my headlamp. Now this is a Petzl headlamp. Inside its case, it's a 350 lumen uh, headlamp. But I also decided I would get the uh, lantern uh, option for it. One, so that my headlamp gets stored in there nicely. And two, that I would have some extra ambient light if needed. Now we're going to talk about another item on the trail water. I'm carrying on the trail for water one, 700, 700, 700. So that's really right there uh, 0.1 uh, milliliters of H2O. I'll also be carrying another 100 liters and another 100 liters. These bottles are heavy, water's heavy, we all know this, but I'm going through the desert section, so I wanna make sure when I'm going through uh, the first part and until I get totally acclimated, I have plenty of water. I know as uh, things, uh, I become more conditioned to the environment and become in much better shape, I will be able to decrease the amount of water I'm taking with me and uh, regular refills will happen. To do my regular re refills, part of what my system is, the CNOC or Canock, I don't know what you call it, but uh, this is one option that I have uh, to handle my electrolytes, noon, everybody else on the trail is carrying something like that also, so I think that's a good choice. And I went with the Sawyer Squeeze Micro. Uh, it uh, does 100,000 uh, liters of water. It uh, just is a super nice little so uh, water filter. And what I did was replace its one cap that it came with with a uh, smart, bottle, smart water bottle cap so that it would be easier to drink from. It has about the same flow rate as everything else. Extra items that I choose to carry is a pocket knife. Now, a lot of people say, Bob, you do not need this size of a knife. One guy showed me how he can use just a safety uh, straight razor uh, for 99% of the things he does on the trail. But as I look at this knife, one, safety whistle, two, don't leave home without it, uh, is important to have with you at all times. And got some candy. I know that's uh, real high on the list. Carrying a small compass, knowing which way north, south, east, and west is will be crucial. 
I'm going to have to do a part three to this video. So 